Bonk Burrows Productions is proud to present the Infinite Sharpness Hunting Horn Build, presented by the one and only Adoiser. Pay attention to this one, folks. It is my favorite build to play, both solo and in a group. I hope you have your notebook ready, because here we go! Alrighty folks, welcome back to the channel and my newest build video. First thing is first, if you are new here, please consider subscribing. We are one tenth of the way to our first 1000 and there is so much more to come. Alrighty, now for a bit of a shout out. This build is made possible by Malzino. This gorgeous elder dragon supplied all of the materials to build what has become my favorite hunting horn. Well, if y'all stuck around this long, you must be interested in this build. So without further ado, here it is. We are currently using the Magician's Allure. As mentioned earlier, it is Melzino's hunting horn. For the armor, we have the Kaiser Crown, the Golden Moon Mail, the Golden Moon Braces, both from our friend Gold Rathian, the Archfiend Armor Ura from our final boss, and the ingot graves for my talisman i have an attack three recovery up two with a one slot as long as you have attack boost three with a level one slot you should be fine and those are fairly common i found so you should be able to get it rather quickly okay so for the jewels i have a hard defense jewel in the weapon in the head i have three steadfast jewels in the chest i have two attack jewels in the arms, I have one tenderizer and one critical jewel and one defense jewel. In the waist, I have another tenderizer jewel. And in the legs, I have two cornerstone jewels for that all-important defiance. Altogether, that gives me attack boost 7, defense boost 7, critical eye 5, defiance 5, critical boost 3, weakness exploit 3, Divine Blessing 3, Stun Resistance 3, Chain Crit 3, Recovery Up 2 from my Talisman, Paralysis Resistance 2 from Curios Crafting, Horn Maestro 1 I get from Curios Crafting, so I didn't have a jewel in here for it, but that's okay. Just replace that one defense jewel with the Sonorous Jewel to give yourself the Horn Maestro, because that's the most important skill for Hunting Horn. And you'll be fine. One defense ain't going to make that much of a difference. The other level 1 skills that you see on the screen really aren't important to this build. So I'm not really going to go over them here. I'm not going to show my Curios Crafting here because it can change the build quite a bit. I kind of pulled in some so that it doesn't change the build in what I'm showing you here today. Priority for you would be to finish off Critical Eye by adding some slots or skills that you can swap jewels out for. Experiment and find the best enhancements for your build. Okay, so why this build? Well, I hate sharpening. It is very stressful mid-combat because the monster could interrupt you and such. So having both sharpness regen and sharpness extension on here for songs makes me sing... Oh, sorry, I'm sure you didn't want to hear me sing. I just love that. By beating the hell out of the monster, I can keep recovering sharpness and never run low. And I've got great attack skills here, so it's not, not like I'm losing damage. Adding Earplugs 5 keeps those nasty roars away, and when the monster enrages, then I have Defiance to make me immune to all the other annoyances like Tremors or Wind. This build is so comfy and easy to use. I have been putting up completion times under 10 minutes on a lot of the regular monsters. That doesn't include the afflicted monsters. We all know those are harder. Anyway, I hope you love this build as much as I do. If you have enjoyed this video, 
please bonk that like button as it helps more people see this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications when we upload. Thank you for watching. This is Adoisher signing off for now. See you all next time. And remember, keep bonking.